Okay, I guess yeah, Nicolas is back. Okay, welcome back, everyone. My personal favorite panel discussion is starting. So we welcome our speakers Adam Shoppa, Jonathan Riddle, Lydia Pinto, Nicola, and Mary. Hello. Over to you all. Adam, I think you need to select the icon of headset and uh, it will ask you to join. Okay, yes. I think yes. it should be working now. I didn't know I need to reload uh, everything. Okay, so um, hi everyone. So uh, thank you for the introductions and you've all seen Nicolo Maven and Jonathan speaking uh, just a while ago, but also we have Lydia here, the former president, uh, current vice president, and what was she not involved in, right? So you should know uh, all about her. And uh, also I'm here um, and uh, we'll be talking about uh, KD goals, the, the initiative, and um, we'll be starting with questions uh, from from the audience uh, uh, right now. So you can start typing them uh, there, and um, I'll be I'll be uh, asking everyone, and we'll be having a nice uh, chat. Uh, but I have uh, a small question ready for uh, for everyone uh, right now. So. Maybe in one sentence, what was the previous year in terms of KDE goals for you? Uh, let's start with Jonathan. Hi, uh, can you hear me? Am I good? Um, so the, doing the goals, that's, it was pretty scary, as I said last year. It still is kind of scary. Um, changing, trying to have a bit of a cultural shift, a bit of an attitude change within KDE and out with KDE, um, it's a soft fluffy goal so it's hard to measure how that has worked um, I I know as I said in my talk that I, I've had a number of um, sort of argumentative tough discussions with people within KDE trying to say no we need to be able to deploy our apps and promote how we deploy our apps um, and do it within the project or, or give people the power to be able to do that um, and so far that's happened there's still a heck of a long way to go um, and one of the obvious failures of of this goal is that I haven't been able to build too much of, of a community um, in the way that um, I've done with other projects where you can see Carl's done with the web project. He did a blog post and suddenly a load of useful volunteers come along to make websites. Um, I haven't succeeded in doing that. Um, so if you want junior jobs, because a lot of this stuff is, is relatively easy to do, uh, do come along to the, the our channel, KDE, all about the apps on Matrix. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Maybe next, uh, Maven, the same question. In one sentence, how was the year? Yeah, um, it's been a bit challenging because uh, I got into a subject that I, I didn't have uh, great knowledge about, both uh, community-wise and technically. Uh, I meant to, to, again, to, to learn about this, so, but it was kind of uh, uh, overarching personal goal. And uh, within the goal, uh, it was about. Uh, it's also hard to to give some momentum, uh, to give some consistency enough together to work together, and and then to uh, animate, give our progress, which are kind of slow and not particularly visible sometimes. Uh, and, and give uh, uh, feedback about our, our progress. That, that's something that has been uh, a bit challenging. Uh, and, uh, and given how our goal is kind of really overarching being and on the long run, we, we, we cannot expect to, to give our goal a, a precise date anytime soon. So, so it's kind of 
of uh, of uh, of uh, long coming and and steady and kind of feels uh, restricting on our own group, but. But we have been making progress, and we will. Uh, I want, and uh, I want. I will, uh, and we will be better. I think because we are still learning. Anyway. Yeah. Thanks, Maven. Same question, Nicolo. How was the um, year? It was difficult, but also very rewarding. This was my very first year of strong involvement with KDE, and I really have to say that I enjoyed it. So I, at the beginning, I didn't know how to approach the problem of goal keeping, but uh, I really, really have to say that I'm happy that I put my effort in it and um, it's going pretty well, I think. Okay, thanks. And we asked the champions, but also Lydia, how were the goals in your opinion in the last year? I think um, for the three new goals, we've made great progress and they're doing pretty well. But I'm also really happy that we haven't lost sight of the first round of goals that uh, we had and that they're still um, showing progress even today. Um, for example, the onboarding goal with the migration to GitLab and already making it easier for people to contribute to KDE. That's really cool. Yeah, I agree. Um, Thanks. I don't see any questions in the short notes yet, uh, but I have some uh, some prepared. Um, so, how do you think we could um, we could use the the same energy of the goals in in different projects or in your project? The the person is, who is watching this right now and also is involved in the community. You're not part of the pro of the goals, but maybe you can use the same form of. Uh, um, of engagement that the goals have. Um, what, what do you all think? How, how, the, how can the goals help uh, the others in the community? Uh, maybe starting with Jonathan again. Uh, one, one of our items on the to-do list, and I sort of tried to do it in, in the talk where I said, here's a few best practice ones, and Krita, of course, everyone uses as an example because it has on its web page Here's how you can download it. Here's the app store so you can get it in. Um, and it would be great for every KDE app to to have um, them on all the app stores, but also to make sure that the websites uh, point to those app stores and, and promote uh, different means of getting it as is best for the user. Um, and so we, we talked last year about having a sort of uh, a check mark or a gold standard for apps that, that succeed in getting getting them on as many stores as possible, distribution methods as possible, uh, and up to date, of course, um, and and having some sort of automated way to check that, that would be awesome. Um, and then we could say, well, there's Contacts, it's a fabulous app, it's not much used on Windows, but it could be used on Windows. Um, so so let's work on getting that built on Windows, on the Microsoft Store, on in Chocolatey, and then suddenly it gets a nice big tick. I, I would love to be able to do that. I think that's sort of the end goal of where I want to be. Yeah, th thanks, uh, thanks, Jonathan. Um, Maven, any opinions about that? Uh, well, yeah, it's really about gathering momentum and 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 finding people to to get involved. So, so that's. That's really applicable to a lot of, of domains and, and, and a great example. But I, I don't have a particular better vision than that. It, it, it's great to have a focus for a group. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Nicolo, how about you? Thank you. I think a, a good way we used to generate momentum and engagement was to start from a VDG discussion in this case and then immediately go uh, doing some mockups. And uh, being the mockups mock very uh, attractive in their look, uh, it uh, generated uh, in the developers a sense, of, a sense of, I want that. So they immediately started working on some stuff. So that's something that really has helped us. Has, uh, has helped us. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Lydia, what's your take? 
Um, I think I would add to what you guys have said that um, it's very important to, as a team, have an agreed upon goal, right? Um, and lots of people have ideas, but then at some point you have to come together and agree on something and say, yes, this is where we're where we're going. And the goals, I think, have shown how powerful that can be. Yeah, totally agree. So now a question just for uh, for our champions, our gold champions here. Um, I assume the work that you're doing would be done either way if you're um, selected as a goal or not. But how do you think being selected as, as the goal for uh, for now has improved the, the work being done on, on your specific topic? Start, starting again with Jonathan. Uh, yes, good question. Ooh. It, um, it, we, a lot of the focus of the activities that wakes me up every, at least once a month is doing those um, monthly app updates. Um, and of course, in doing those, I try and look at the different stores and, and feature one of those or interview somebody in, involved in them, uh, look at the different apps and see for each app um, where, how can users get those, what are the different distribution methods that they use. Um, and and yeah, so having that regular monthly uh, task that, that we know we've got to do means that, that I've at least uh, woken up to it once a month to have a, a review of, well, how are we doing? What has changed in the last month? What, what are we able to do? So that's been quite a, a useful way to, to run the goal is uh, yeah, making sure you get woken up once a month to do that. Okay, thanks. Um, maybe oh, can I add those yes, monthly yes. app updates? Uh, please, everybody contribute to them. So, yeah, if you release an app, then please give some notes to us so that I can do it the next month. Because otherwise, it's a bit of detective work. But it's really nicer if the app maintainers give their give their uh, new release data to to me or or some sentences to me. Yep. Thanks, uh, Maven. Yeah. Well, as as uh, open source uh, enthusiasts and developers, we our goal has been really great about uh, helping us focus on some subje subjects. Where, especially within KDE, we have we have the tendency to contribute to have a uh, to wide variety of subjects. Some of our developers, and here it was a really good opportunity to to focus together, and and that's one of the goal election made to these goals particularly is to devote more of our time available time to this particular end and uh, it's it's also nice uh, from the outside of KD community so that they know that we have an effort and uh, and and working toward the, this goal and, and that's i think helping also because uh, it, it gives us uh, more credit and and more uh, uh, well, outside communities can see our commitments, and, and, and I think that's going to serve us and, and, and more generally uh, the project. Yeah, Nicolo? Well, first of all, being selected as a goal immediately gave me much determination, much more determination to put effort in it. So that was like the very first thing. But also, there was much more. Uh, formal involvement uh, such as we had uh, a budget from the board that we actually didn't use but it was very nice to have and we also had a monthly meeting to see how it was going and uh, we had the opportunity to make uh, monthly uh, blog updates uh, to be pretty tweeted by the, by the official KDE account and be put on the dot and so on so that really make, uh, made it uh, much easier yeah, you're definitely not as scared as you showed in, in the picture uh, from your presentation <laughs> anymore. Um, OK, next question. And then that's, again, I think, more focused to, to our champions here. Would you consider becoming a gold champion, maybe for a different topic, again after this uh, this round ends? Jonathan? Uh, would I consider becoming a gold champion again? I, I don't want to, because I want to that this won't be done next year, so I want to keep going with this stuff. Um, depends on what opportunities, and who knows what will happen in the world over the next year. It's it's quite unpredictable, we find out. Um, but yeah, I think I would want to stay um, actually focused on all about the apps after it stops being the primary goal. But um, as with the previous set, those projects always continue on. Um, 
Understandable. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Maven. How about you? Well, well, the irony is that I kind of uh, participated. Well, uh, well, my goal is not yet finished, so I'll be working on it. So I won't be proposing any uh, any new one anytime soon. Who? What the future tells? But uh, I know that I've been already participating to a goal. Uh, previous goal, the usability and productivity goal. I've been contributing, and that's what, in the first place, got me into the into contribution. In fact, so so it was a very good uh, motivation at the start to to add myself to this goal. So my my uh, conclusion is like uh, we should uh, uh, being involved in the goal is really rewarding and it makes it very. Uh, approachable for outsiders to to add themselves to. Thanks, Nicolas. Nicolas, uh, I thought about it, but I don't think I will. Not because I'm not having fun, but because I want to give the opportunity to someone else to have fun. Because uh, since I was uh, selected, my goal and I never had the previous KD experience. I think that uh, it is also a way to onboard more people. So if uh, new goals are selected and the gold champions are new people, that would be absolutely amazing. Yeah, I think that's a great take. And we have finally questions from uh, from the audience. So let me start. Um, you are the goal champions, right? So how are final decisions made when there are a lot of internal contradictions? Let's go with Jonathan again. Well, I can think in KDE, um... And part of our strength and part of our weakness is that we don't necessarily have a, a hierarchy where somebody can say, this is how it's going to be. It's got to be an endless discussion until you come to uh, a general agreement. Um, being a, a goal champion, goal scorer, um, I think does give me a bit more clout and ability to say, this is how it's going to be um, this because it's been chosen by the community, right? Um, so yes, I think that does help. Um, one 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 failure that we've had in the last year that I had in my slides was was the KSNP application where somebody came to KDE and said I've got a screenshot tool um, can I build it in KDE um, and and there it was rejected because people said oh there's already a screenshot tool why don't you just work on that one and so he went away and, and just did his work elsewhere and he's got a successful project now so that's very much our failure not to do that um, and I kind of wish that I'd I caught that earlier, I caught that when it happened, um, in order to say, no, that's, that again, it's a bit of culture that's got to change where, yeah, if someone wants to do a, an application that does similar features to another one, that's okay within KDE, that's always been okay um, within KDE. Um, but I didn't quite get that in time, but I think that if I did because, because of the goal, um, then that could have been fixed and hopefully in future situations it will be fixed. Okay, thanks. How are final decisions being made on your end, Maven? Well, um, well, uh, kind of a democratic way, I, I'd say. Uh, we uh, within our goal, we didn't have many uh, subjects of hard contradiction. It has been mostly consensual our work, uh, but I would say in general, it's about democracy. It's about debating and what's in more accord accordance to our values first and then uh, passive and then uh, in the end it's it's about who who is the most uh, re who, um, which of the views is more popular or at least uh, after a good debate and and, and uh, but we didn't have uh, many uh, such instances for the well and gold Thanks, um, Nicolo. Um, Nicolo? Yeah, this is a bit of a third question because uh, that's something we are currently going through for the econ sizes, the final, I think. And uh, the answer is that uh, we discuss a lot, sometimes even for months. And it's a bit stressful, but I think that um, the hand aim is to find um, uh, something that we all agree upon. We all do some, uh, we sacrifice something of our ideas until we find a common point and that's very democratic democratic of us i think thanks um 
the next question that I think could be to Lydia, one of the masterminds behind the goals initiative. Is there a stipulated time period to achieve the goals, Lydia? So a lot of the goals aren't really made to be finished, achieved. Um, it's something to work towards. So for example, the onboarding goal is clearly something that will be with us for many more years. Um, and, and is an ongoing thing we have to work on um, as our infrastructure changes, as the world changes around us, as our community changes. Um, and then there are some that are more achievable and more, uh, but in the end, I think it's more defined. Uh, the Wayland goal is probably the, <laughs> the prime example of that. Um, once we have Wayland in a very good state, um, we can probably take that off, which isn't to say that Wayland will not need work after that, of course. Um, yeah. I hope that answers <laughs> the question. Yeah, I think so. Uh, we have only a few minutes left, um, but uh, let's do another one. And I think I have a feeling I know the answer to this one. Do you feel there are enough people working on reaching the current goals until next year? Jonathan? Well, as I said, I've not been able to get much of community around the goal. Um, we have a channel, please come in and join us. But that's because a lot of the work is, is not uh, specifically in a team that makes up the goal. A lot of the work is in the individual applications, right? In the 200 or 300 projects we have, uh, where those applications and being developed, they also get that final step of um, being shipped through the stores or, or in easily downloadable packages. Um, and a lot of that is happening. And so every month when I write the app updates, this new release and I say great this new release is available through your through the app image or through the through a Windows executable through the Microsoft Store so that work is happening um, and is may or may not yes yeah, so it's not always happening directly through the goal team which is totally fine because it should be um, for the whole kitty community to embrace the, the whole philosophy okay thanks Maven yeah Given the, the the scope of our goal, well, you there will never be enough people. Basically, well, it's about uh, being as uh, stable and as as uh, great software that we can offer to our community, and uh, that's that's just uh, uh, an ideal uh, uh, end goal, overarching goal. So, so especially for for such something as technical, we will never be able to iron out any bug and uh, uh, at least for the foreseeable future. And so more people is do more than fewer people. So uh, we are a small, uh, small group currently that's uh, working all right uh, as it's uh, as a strong with a strong pace, but more people would work a bit far, bit more or deliver more at the end. So that's my view. Thanks. Nicolo, only 60 seconds. Do so you have enough people? people? Uh, I think so, because I uh, mostly use the consistency, sorry, the PDG group as the consistency group, kind of, because that they are very related. So most of the VDG people also often work on for consistency. So yes, I'm happy. <laughs> Okay, and I think we're uh, out of time now. Thank you very much the Gold Champions, Lydia, for taking your time, answering questions. And uh, yeah, have a good academy, everyone. Thank, Thank you, you all. Cheerio. Have a